What's good, everybody? This is your boy, Jagging Off, the go to Jags YouTube. Now, for the Bowl City Duval, we in the fucking building yet again. All right. Um, I'm going to go more in depth about everywhere, all the positions once, you know, we fill the practice squad up and uh, we got who we're keeping on the practice squad there and go through waiver wire and all that shit. So, um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the receiver situation because we cut mad receivers and overall in the whole roster, for the most part, it's basically what I expected. It's nothing was too bad or shocking. There were, there were people that made it that I was very happy about. There's people that made it that were unacceptable. There's people I'm happy we cut people I'm not too happy that we cut so but yeah the receiver room it went it goes as follows DJ Chark, LaVisca Chenault, Marvin Jones, uh, Jamal Agnew and Tavon Austin first off I'll start with the biggest positive first I'm so happy Tavon Austin made it I'm really fucking happy that guy made it like he worked his ass off and, you know, and I know, and I know the potential he has. Like, I've said it before. I've known it ever since, I've known it ever since watching him in high school. You put the ball in this guy's hands, he will, he's a threat to take it to the crib every time. He's got game-breaking speed. Like, so, like I said, I'm, I'm overjoyed that he made it, so... Shout out to him. I mean, overall, I thought the Jaguars would have kept six players, six receivers, but we only kept five, at least for the time being, because every other year it's been six or seven, I think. So, I'm a little pissed Jeff Cotton didn't make it. Like, I thought he would have did enough to, um, I thought he'd have did enough to, um, in the past couple games to solidify his spot, but they're saying they're going to put him on the practice squad. Just fingers crossed that he makes it. And then, um, I am happy they cut Philip Dorsett. I mean, thank God for that dude. Cause like, I, I didn't like that signing. From, you, you know me, I didn't like that signing from the beginning. Like that was just, it was completely useless to me. I just, didn't agree with it at all. He literally did nothing the entire time of training camp except for that catch he made in the Dallas game. That's literally it. Vera Cooper, I guess, whatever. And then um, I'm very disappointed that either Laqu that Laquan Treadwell and Colin Johnson didn't make it. I thought we would have kept one of them. Like, both of them were having pretty good camps. I guess... I'm not really sure the reasoning behind both of them, but um, I don't think it's going to take long for either one of those dudes to find work. Like, Detroit, if I'm the Detroit Lions, I'd hit both of them up and sign them because either one could go into Detroit right now and be their number two receiver. That's how bad it is. At the bare, at the bare minimum, they could be their number two receiver. So... If I'm Detroit, I'm calling both of them. And if they if they really want Jared Goof to have a chance in Detroit, but you know that's none of my business. But uh, I mean, also I feel like this many were cut because Urban I think wants one more burner, and um, a lot of people are saying Tyron Johnson is linked to us because luckily with the Jaguars the. The good thing about having the shit, one of the other, another good thing about having the shittiest record in the NFL is you got the top waiver wire priority. So, um, well, whoever we put a waiver claim in, whenever that period is over, whatever, we're going to get the, we're going to get who we want. So, um, a lot of people have him linked to us because like I've looked, I've looked it up and I've looked around and, um, there really seems to be no good explanation as to why the Chargers cut this guy. So, um, I looked up, I looked up a little bit on him the guy's fast as fuck. He looks like he's pretty good. So I think he'd be a nice little option there as a receiver six. So if that's the plan, I'm with it. And, um, and like I said, I hope Jeff Cotton makes the, um, 
makes the practice squad because injuries happen. So we're gonna see. So if he makes it there, we're gonna see him sooner rather than later. But um, uh, yeah. I mean, what else? I mean, cut Jake Luton. Thank fuck. Um, he'll probably he'll probably end up making the practice squad because no one's gonna snatch him up on their fifty three man roster. I mean, why would you? But, you know, as long as he's not in uniform and there's no chance of him actually stepping on the football field, then, then that's whatever. That's fine. <sighs> Taven Bryan somehow survived. I have no idea why. Andrew Wingard, who is a fucking disgrace, is still here. Like, I, I don't understand for the life of me why they cut him instead of Jared Wilson. Why they cut Jared Wilson instead of him. Not that I'm the biggest Jared Wilson fan in the world, but I would have just cut both of them, honestly. But I would have... But, I would, but at least Jared Wilson's a halfway decent safety, and we could have kept him. Supposed, supposedly, the reason that they kept Wingard over him is because of special teams. Well, I can tell you this much: he should be on a special team, all right, the Special Olympics. But yeah, I fucking hate him. I wish he would have got cut. But whatever, I guess it is what it is. Hopefully, if we bring Tyron Johnson on board, he's the one that goes. I'd take him. I'd take him going before anybody. We don't need five safeties. I mean, that, that that's ridiculous. But I don't know. We'll see what happens during this waiver wire period. And like I said, I'll um, once that's all settled and we know who's like re who what it really is for week one, I'll go more in depth on it. But um, that's it. That's all, people. This has been your boy Jagging Off. Go Jags. Do what till I die. And I'm gone.